A local research lab is testing thousands of drugs to see if they can be used as treatments for COVID-19. As News 8's David Goffertson reports, the Torrey Pines lab is working with $20 million in funding from the Gates Foundation. I'm Larry. I'm his counterpart. In order to study coronavirus, you have to have samples of the virus delivered to the lab. Everything has been disinfected. That's exactly what happened last month at the Stanford Burnham Previs Medical Discovery Institute in Torrey Pines. Researchers are testing more than 13,000 compounds to see if they can kill the virus. Each of those slots gets a different drug, gets some cells, and gets the virus. Professor Sumit Chanda is the lab's director. When you start seeing these little splotches, that's where the cells are dying. Initially, Chanda hopes to find 30 to 40 compounds that might work. Then researchers will do more testing to identify just a handful of drugs that might show promise. We hope to get down to maybe three or four, which look promising, and move them into either animal studies or directly into human trials. Because coronaviruses can become resistant to treatment drugs, Chanda expects he'll need more than one compound to treat COVID-19. You know, the strategy really uh, is going to be, uh, I think, developing a drug cocktail that boxes the virus into a corner. So we did this for HIV. Dr. Chanda hopes his research can produce a treatment for COVID-19 fairly quickly because all the compounds he's testing have been used in humans to treat other diseases. If they can knock down the virus, we know that uh, there is a safety record associated with these compounds, and these can be very quickly developed into clinical candidates that can go into clinical trials for, for testing to see if they work in humans. Some of the drugs they're testing at that local lab, if they work, they could be fast-tracked and available for the public in two to three months. Carlo? That's because they already exist. They're just being, it's just being determined whether they work, right? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, they've already been tested in humans. They've already been used in humans for different purposes. And all they have to do is pare down the 13,000 that they have to test to the ones that actually work. So those are treatments. What about a vaccine, David? Unfortunately, that's a different story. Vaccines, because this is a new virus, they're going to have to be, they have to undergo more testing and it's going to take a year to a year and a half for the vaccine.